students in today's lecture of automobile engineering we will learn about chassis this is a 1.3 topic topic number 1.3 of your syllabus of unit number 1 in this we will study about the definition of chassis what is the function of chassis what is frame and body what are the different loads that will act on the frame classification of chassis frames with advantages disadvantages and applications last one is the basic body nomenclature before that let us see what are the components of the automobile it should be very informative to us power unit transmission system basic structure controls auxiliary parts and superstructures these are some of the components in basic structure we will have frame suspension system axles and wheels in controls there is a braking system and steering system what is chassis a vehicle frame also known as its chassis is the main supporting structure of motor vehicle to which all other components are attached comparable to the skeleton of the organism chassis is a french term which denotes the whole vehicle expect body in case of heavy vehicles chassis is the main support structure of the vehicle which is also known as frames it bears all the stresses on the vehicle in both static and dynamic condition means at a stationary as well as in the movable state in vehicle it is analogous to the skeleton in a living organism like all living organism having a main skeleton so chassis is nothing but analogous to it every vehicle whether it is a two wheeler or a car or a truck has a chassis frame however its form obviously varies with the vehicle type let us see the components of the chassis engine transmission in transmission it includes clutch gearbox propeller shaft differential controls means braking and steering basic structures include frame suspensions axles wheels and tires and electrical system remaining will be the auxiliary parts and superstructure parts this sketch shows you the simple construction of truck chassis in which see at the center this is nothing but the frame and to this frame there is a steering gear box assembly radiator wheel wheel and tire the main engine clutch gearbox propeller shaft universal joint steering wheel then leaf spring rear axle differential assembly universal joint these are some of the important components attached to it let us see what are the functions of vehicle system body this is a first vehicle system it is uh, provided or it provide durable attachment for other major systems it provide safe and pleasant seating environment for all passengers it protect passengers from crashes chassis provide capability to steer the vehicle it provide capability to brake the vehicle safety it provide isolation between the road and passengers power train it provide capability to accelerate the vehicle by transferring torque to the wheels it provide capability to control vehicle speed it meet regularity exhaust requirement climate control maintain comfortable temperature distribution for passengers and provide with with windshield defrost capability electrical and electronics vehicle system provide power supply where needed provide desirable entertainment system provide functional sensors and controls let us see what are the functions of chassis frame number 1 to carry load of passengers or goods carried in the body to support the load of the body engine gearbox to withstand the forces caused due to the sudden braking or acceleration to withstand the stresses caused due to the bad road condition and to withstand centrifugal force while cornering so it provide the space and mounting location for various aggregates of the vehicle what is the difference between frame chassis and body frame is the supporting component of automobile vehicle it is a foundation for carrying the engine transmission system and steering system by means of spring axle rubber pads etc the frame are made up of box tabular channels or u shaped u shaped section 
welded or riveted together. What is chassis is when the engine transmission system, steering and wheels are fitted on the frame, the assembly is known as chassis. It is the backbone of the vehicle. It is a vehicle without body. It contains all the major units necessary to propel the vehicle. Vehicle can be driven after placing the driver seat on the chassis. What is body then? It is a super structure of the vehicle. Chassis and body makes the complete vehicle. For small and light car body and chassis are made as a single unit. But in large vehicles both are made as a single unit. Generally it is made from metal or fiber. The main purpose of car body is to provide comfort and protection to the passengers and also the good look. Body most Body of most vehicles should fulfill the following requirements. The body should be light. It should have minimum number of components. It should provide sufficient space for passengers and luggage. It should withstand vibrations while in motion. It should offer minimum resistance to air. It should be cheap and easy in manufacturing. It should be attractive in shape and color. It should have uniformly distributed load. It should have long fitting life and it should provide good vision and ventilation. So these are some of the types of bodies for the car. Saloon car, then this is cow, hatchback, limousine, sport car, tracks, jeep, estate car and station wagon. Types of automobile bodies. Number one is closed car. According to the closed cars, number A is sedan, hatchback, cop and limousine. Okay. Sedan. The type of car design consists of an engine compartment, passenger compartment and separate boot. A sedan possesses a fixed roof with a fixed P-pillar which, uh, which sits four or more. Most commonly it is four door. Two door models are rare. Hatchback. An auto world design consisting of passenger cabin with an integral integrated cargo space accessed from behind the vehicle by the by tailgate. Opening rear, uh, opening rear tailgate, the interior design includes fold down rear seats which can be used as a cargo area. The rear seat can be folded partially or completely to expand the cargo space. Cop, Cop was an enclosed two-seater two mainly used in towns and, and was driven by a coachman. <laughs> if the carriage had an emergency seat or seat for a child, then it was a so called three quarter cop. Cop generally but not necessarily have two doors although automobile makers have offered four door cops and three and four door hatchback couple cops as well. Limousine is a luxury vehicle driven by a chopper with a partition between the driver's compartment and passenger compartment. A car with a partition and lengthened wheelbase is called stretch limousine. Then Open cars, sports and convertible, special types also there and transport vehicles like van, truck, auto, articulated vehicle, bus, coaches that we have seen. Other types of bodies are tractor and articulated trailer, half body truck, dump truck, tanker, delivery truck. Let us see what are the loads that are acting on the frame. Short duration load, momentarily duration load. Impact loads, inertia load, static load and overloads. Short duration load while crossing a broken patch. And momentary duration load is acting while taking a curve. Impact loads will act due to the collision of the vehicle. Inertia load will act while applying brakes. Static load due to the chassis parts and overload beyond design capacity. Let us see the types of automobile chassis frame. It is number one is a conventional frame. It has long side members and five six five to six cross members joined together with the help of rivets and bolts. So these are the cross members here. Three plus two, and it has it has long side members. These are the two side members here. Frame section used in this type of frame is channel section, tabular section, and box section. It is used in buses, trucks, and vans. It is most it is used in most of the heavy vehicles. Construction of frame varies according to the type of vehicle, generally made up from steel section. This type of frame has a two long side members, as already seen, we have seen, and five to six cross members. Cross members are used to increase the strength of the frame. They are inswept narrow and at the front and are upswept broad at the rear. So at 
this is broader at the rear and somewhat narrow at the front some of the important chassis frames are ladder frame tabular space frame monocoque frame aluminum space frame carbon fiber frame so types of frames uh, again uh, sometimes classified as a conventional frame integral frame and semi integral frame conventional frame channel section tabular section and box section according to this uh, figure you can understand what are the conventional shape how should be the conventional frame and integral frame used nowadays in most of the cars it is also called frameless no frame and all the assembly units are attached to the body due to elimination of long frame it is cheaper only disadvantage is repairing and it, it is very difficult repairing is difficult ladder frame the ladder frame is the simplest and oldest of all design that is design offers good beam resistance because of its continuous rails from front to rear it is having poor resistance to torsion tabular space frame it is a three dimensional design tabular space frame chassis employs dozens of circular rectangular etc section tube positions in different direction to provide mechanical strength against force from anywhere these tubes are welded and forms a very complex structure tabular is having certain advantages very strong in any direction and disadvantage is very complex costly and time consuming to the for the its build up monocoque structure monocoque monocoque is one piece structure which defines overall shape of the car while ladder tubular and backbone provide only stress members today 99% car produced in this planet are made up of monocoque chassis chassis are made by welding or of similar pieces so this is the monocoque metal monocoque and this is carbon fiber monocoque monocoque is having certain disadvantage it is very complex design impossible for small volume production what are the advantages space efficiency monocoque chassis benefit crash production because it uses a lot of metal and it is cheap for mass production aluminum monocoque body 8a8 is the first mass production car featuring aluminum aluminum space frame chassis to replace conventional steel monocoque mainly for the benefits of lightness audi claimed a8 asf is 40% lighter yet 40% stiffer than contemporary steel monocoque so this is having light advantage like lighter than steel monocoque and still expensive for mass production carbon fiber monocoque is the most sophisticated material using the aircraft spaceships and racing cars because of its superior rigidity to weight ratio road cars featuring carbon fiber body panels such as ferrari and porsche there are several carbon fiber commonly used in motor industry kevlar which was developed by dupont offers the highest rigidity to weight ratio among them because of this army's helmets are made up of kevlar 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 can al also be found in body panels of many exotic cars although most of them simultaneously use other kinds of carbon fiber in the even even larger amount this is a comparison between ladder and monocoque performance design and materials you can watch that and learn so this is a quick comparison between typical ladder frame and monocoque structure integrated frame chassis or frameless uh, chassis this already we have seen this frame construction nowadays used in most of the motor car called as a frameless or cash, uh, chassis less or mono or unit construction in which the floor assembly and frame form one integral unit need of the heavy side members are eliminated which is used in conventional frame and floor is strengthened by cross members and body all welded together semi integral integral frames half frame is fixed in front end on which engine gearbox and front suspension is mounted it has advantage when the vehicle is met with accident the front frame can be broken taken easily to replace the damaged chassis frame this type of frame is used in fiat cars and some of the european and american cars so automobile chassis conventional chassis you will see here the structure of this then uh, semi forward chassis you will see the structure half engine fitted inside driver's cabin and remaining half in the front of driver's cabin after that full forward chassis engine chassis classification based on engine location and chassis classification based on number of wheels fitted after that nomenclature of the body that this is nothing but the different parts of the body car body in which you will see body safety bonnet rear hood door pillars body seal these are some of the components dashboard legroom headroom shoulder room boot space thank you very much